In 1943, Rudolf Hoss, commandant of the Auschwitz concentration camp, lives with his wife Hedwig and their five children in an idyllic home next to the camp. Hoss takes the children out to swim and fish, and Hedwig spends time tending the garden. Locals handle the chores, and the murdered Jews' belongings are given to the family. Beyond the garden wall, gunshots, screaming, and the sounds of trains and furnaces are often audible. Hoss approves the design of a new crematorium created by Topf and Sons. One day, he notices human remains in the river and gets his children out of the water where they have been playing. He also sends a message to SS personnel, chastising them for their carelessness in picking lilacs, causing the plants to bleed. At night, while Hoss reads the German fairy tale of Hansel and Gretel to his daughters, a Polish girl sneaks out and hides food at the prisoners' work sites. Hedwig's mother comes to stay, and is impressed and pleased by the material status her daughter has achieved. Hoss receives word that he is being promoted to deputy inspector of concentration camps and must move to Oranienburg, near Berlin. He objects, and withholds the news from Hedwig for several days. Hedwig asks him to convince his superiors to let her and the children remain in their home, the request is approved. Before Hoss leaves, a woman comes to his office and prepares herself for sex. Meanwhile, the Polish girl finds sheet music composed by a prisoner, which she plays on the piano at her home. Hedwig's mother departs unannounced after seeing the burning crematorium at night. She leaves a note that upsets Hedwig. In Berlin, in recognition of his work, Hoss is tasked by Oswald Pohl with heading an operation named after him that will transport 700,000 Hungarian Jews to work at the camps or to be killed. This will allow him to move back to Auschwitz and reunite with his family. He vacantly attends a party organized by the SS Main Economic and Administrative Office. Afterwards, he tells Hedwig over the phone that he spent his time at the party thinking about the most efficient way to gas the attendees. As Hoss leaves his Berlin office and descends a stairway, he stops, retches repeatedly and stares into the darkness of the building corridors. In the present day, a group of janitors cleans the auschwitz birkenau State Museum. Back in 1944, Hoss continues downstairs, descending into darkness.